On this morning's Health Watch, a revolutionary new device that is changing the lives of many Americans who have lost the ability to walk. Early show correspondent Dr. Debbie Turner Bell is here with the details. Good morning. Good morning to you. It is called the Walk Aid. Using technology similar to what makes a Wii video game work, the Walk Aid is a promising development in restoring full function to people like Tina Mann. Once confined to a wheelchair, she can now walk and even run. I've been skiing since I was little seven, eight years old. I was young, I was naive, and I was convinced that nothing would ever happen to me. But when she was 16, Tina Mann fell while snowboarding. My board hit a piece of ice, and that stopped the board, but didn't stop me. And instantly, I knew something was wrong, but didn't know what. She'd injured her spinal cord. In three months, I was completely paralyzed from the waist down. The doctor came in the room and told me I had a 30% chance to recover and that I was going to spend the rest of my life in a wheelchair. Over the next eight years, with intense physical therapy, Tina slowly progressed from a wheelchair to full leg braces, but she still could not walk without assistance. I still couldn't pick my foot up, no matter what I tried. This is Tina walking unassisted, but this is Tina walking with the help of a miracle device called the walk aid. So sometimes do you walk? Just because you can. <laughs> just take away. <laughs> I do. I do. I enjoy just being able to. The size of an iPod, the walk aid sends electrical pulses to the nerves and muscles of the lower leg, allowing the patient to pick up the foot. The walk aid can restore mobility for patients with multiple sclerosis, cerebral palsy, and traumatic brain injuries. But for Tina, walking was not enough. Perfect. She wanted to face her ultimate fear. Bring your foot around this way and then back in. Getting on a yeah. snowboard again, which she did, thanks to the walk aid. Well, this is my miracle in the box. This gave me my life. And I'm just excited to see how far I can truly go. My possibilities are truly endless. Miracle in a box and a very courageous young woman. The walk aid costs about five thousand dollars for patients who are paying cash, but just this year Medicaid start Medicaid Medicare, excuse me, started covering the cost for patients with spinal cord injuries and some private insurance. Harry does cover it on a case by case basis. First things first, it's welcome to the broadcast. You worked so hard at your own physical recovery. You managed to get into braces, start moving on your own. When this thing came along, how did this change your life? It changed it huge, more than any brace, more than anything else I've been through. It gave me back all of my muscle strength. It, this is now me walking. I don't have to rely on metal, on plastic, on joints, on anything to help me. My muscles are doing the work. That is just absolutely amazing. And what did you say? You had just won a... a she, came, she did very well in a rock climbing competition. She rock climbs. She does strength training. We saw that in the piece. Right. Yeah. And what did your what did your family say when you said you wanted to snowboard again? They were very apprehensive. They had watched the last 8 years. They watched me struggle to get back and they couldn't understand why I wanted to risk this, but yeah. I needed it. I needed to get back on the board to go forward. To see you on a snowboard, to see you walking across the studio this morning and knowing what kind of shape you were in not so, so long ago, yeah. is it's somewhere akin to a miracle. Does it feel like that? Absolutely, absolutely. And is there, can you explain, it's just impulses that go into the leg that what? Yes, it, what it does is it activates the nerves uh, that, that then cause the, the muscles of the lower leg to function. It causes right. her to be able to pick up her foot. She has something called drop foot syndrome. Right. So it causes her to be able to pick up her foot. And is your, is, your, is your upper body telling this anything or this does this all on its own? Because we've seen some of those kinds of technologies yeah. mm -hmm. where... It adjusts, you adjust it right for the, the, the rate of the mm -hmm. impulse. Yeah. And it knows where her legs are in right. space. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. How cool is that? Well, thank you very much for uh, showing, sharing your story. Of course. And you just, I mean, you know, we always watch you walk around New York all day. Today. <laughs> all right, right, Tina Man, thank you so much, Debbie. Mm -hmm. Do appreciate sure. it. Sure.